And you say daddy's home Daddy's home Home for me Now that's ASMR. Anyways. Good evening, gamers. <coughs> I don't want to run the ASMR, but I definitely like some of that Mountain Dew went down my throat before I swallowed it. Anyways. Sammy, where did it go? Mm, where'd what go? The, the subtle Usher Daddy's Home reference? Mm, I don't know. You started it, not me. You Oh, the mustache. Yeah, I guess that's that's a thing. I guess it's true if you if you weren't a true fan of the channel and didn't watch the video I uploaded this morning, you probably missed the fact that I shaved the mustache. Siri is listening to me. Why is Siri listening? I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, I was... Uh, it had reached that time where, you know, after shaving... Uh, you know, the, the whiskers were coming in and getting pretty long. We were at the, about the two week mark. I'd had my fair share of, you know, checking out the scar and the, the nerve damage, you know, it's like, you know, it doesn't, it's not good to look at. <laughs> I was tired of seeing it. It's like, all right, you know, we're just going to buzz down the mustache. Like I usually do just not going to shave it. Just take the electric trimmer, buzz it down to about the same length as the rest of the whiskers. And then, you know, start, start the beard over. Um, and I was like, hey, you know what? If you follow me on Twitter, you saw, saw my little, my little, you know, nostalgia about it. I was like, I haven't shaved my mustache, like 100% shaved, clean shaven, since my grandma died. And prior to that, I hadn't done it since I was like 18. I was still living at home with my parents. I know most content creators still live at home with their parents, but I, I do not. Great, now go bald. Damn, don't tempt me, or I will, and I won't have any choice in the matter. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I was just, uh, it is weird seeing it on camera. Just when I thought I'd gotten used to seeing the mustache on camera, now there's just nothing. It is weird to see. Um, so I'm in the bathroom. I fire up the, the trimmer, right? Uh, my daughter comes running in, screaming, No! No, she grabs my arm and starts like yanking it away. I'm like, what the hell? And then she takes the razor from me while it's still running and just runs out of the room. Oh, I'm like, okay, what's this all about? Like, does she think I'm like shaving my beard again? Like, she cried when I shaved my beard down to just the mustache, right? And so, walk in the living room, I'm like, hey, hey, baby. Give that back. That's not a toy. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Because she did. She literally just went running with an electric trimmer while it was running. I was like, oh, okay, this is not ideal. Uh, and she's she's crying, bro. She's crying. She says, and I quote, I love the mustache and I won't like you if you shave it. I'm like, dog. When I shaved the beard and left nothing but the mustache, you just stood there and watched while you silently sobbed. Like, she didn't make a sound when I shaved the first time and left the mustache. She just she just sat there and stared at me, just pouting crocodile tears flowing down her cheeks. And now she's crying again because I was going to shave the mustache. Like, come on, I can't win here. So obviously I shaved it anyways, because I don't give a fuck, bro. He's like, yeah, you know, why not? Why not? It'll probably be a, a long ass time before we do that again. Let's have some fun with it. So anyways, here we are. We're, we're about a, a week back. You know, it's uh, it's coming in. 
it is it's not super rough anymore like the 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 old whiskers are starting to get long enough that they're start, starting to feel a little a little more on the soft side of things not like super rough and sandpaper uh 499 dollars for bald you know i i not that i couldn't use 500 but it would take a lot more than a 500 dollar dono for me to for me to buzz my head idk if it looks worse or better personally like i have good facial hair and i i wouldn't say that the mustache is my look but at least i have a nice mustache you know what i mean like I have a nice mustache and I don't have an upper lip. It, you know, I mean, I I personally think the mustache looks better than the clean shave, but and honestly, now that I'm getting some stubble back, you know, get getting a little bit of color, this looks better than the pure clean shave. I uh I could not I could shit. Uh Sugar, 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 Santa Maria. Thank you for subscribing. Scared the hell out of me. Cut the music. So, here's the deal with this story quest. Uh, we we have not the time to feck about. However, I'm pretty sure my resin's capped. So maybe we have a little bit of time to feck about. We're gonna do everyone's favorite thing. Uh, we're gonna farm relics. Just to uncap my resin. And I'll go, I'll like auto battle a couple of calyxes to clear that out um, before we call it a day. But uh, for now, let's, let's go get like a, a crazy ass, crazy ass relic upgrade, right? Time to say bye. Also, I'm taking the headphones out. I can't live like this. I can't live like this. Yeah, <laughs> Ryuka says, I think you look better with the full beard. You could have ended the sentence there. I do believe everyone would agree. <laughs> Including my life. Uh, anyways, I think you just look better with the beard and like this. Not a fan of just the stash. Dude, I've got a co-worker. Um, so obviously, you know, like the, the stash was a hit at work. Because, I, uh, you know, goofy. And I've got a co-worker. Dude, when he found out, I was talking about, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be shaving the stash off soon. And, you know, I'll just trim it down and we'll be ready for, you know, growing back the beard. Have a short beard. Um, he didn't tell me he was going to do this. He comes back the following Monday and he shaved his beard down to a mustache. And honest to God, he's older than me. I think he's in his early 40s. Honest to God, it, man's looked good. Ah! But like, you actually looked good in the stash. I was like, bro, like, I think this is your look. I don't know if you were looking for a look, but I think I'm this is it. Guy. And he actually looks great with the mustache. I, I don't know what it is. Some people just like, just do the stash well. Val says, you're not 40. Oh, shut the hell up. All right, I'm gonna put Valerie. You were gonna get a, like, a lot of leniency for the Usher reference in the chat earlier. Uh, no more. No more leniency for Val. Hey, who said I look like I'm 20? Let me just go, uh, uh, Katsusa. By the way, Katsusa, hi. Thanks for being in the stream. Hope you're still here. I'm just now catching up on chat. Katsusa said I look like I'm in my 20s. First of all, I'm barely not in my 20s. I am literally 30 years old. So I pretty much am 20. By most people's standards, like, we would round down and I'd be 20, right? And I, those were some, some potential on those relics. Kojo cosplay win. Uh, I don't know. Fecking never. I'm pretty sure my wife would like that. Actually, my wife would like me to be Gato. My wife is a Gato stan. She's been sharing these memes. She's in like some sort of a super unhinged Jujutsu Kaisen memes Facebook group. And she started sending me all of these. Like the point of discussion became Gato did nothing wrong. <laughs> so the responses were hilarious. It was like Gato after literally murdering an entire village of people and it's just him smile after murdering an entire village of people under his own free will and it's just him smiling <laughs> what the heck <laughs> guys it says is that how rounding works I mean if we're rounding like if we're going to 70 let's, let's say if we're going to 65 if we're going to the age of retirement 
And I'm not even halfway there. So technically we do round down, right? As you go through the phases of life, uh, infancy, childhood, teen years, and then there's this weird section called real life that basically happens from 18 to 65 where uh, you just wake up, you do a bunch of shit you don't want to do. Or if you're like me, you, you actually do like some pretty cool stuff that you really like doing. Uh, and then eventually at 65, you retire and you get to enjoy the last couple years of your life not having to slave away at a 9 to 5 job. So in the grand scheme of life, I'm I'm barely in there, right? Like all things considered, we still round down. You know, if real life starts at 18, I'm 30. If real life ends at 65, we're like we're definitely rounding down. I mean, am I wrong, gamers? Am I looking at this the wrong way? <laughs> Drake says Gato did nothing wrong because he thinks he's absolutely right. That's definitely a way of looking at it. Do we keep this? That's crit damage. We'll keep it. Whatever. Uh, that V-A-L-A-R-I-E Sammy is old. You're so wrong. I really don't. I mean, I'd say correct me if I'm wrong, but it's obvious one person in the chat has decided I'm wrong and no one has the spine to stand up to her. Kaiser, I'm looking at you when I say that, first of all. That's my son. Time to say bye. Here it says, does that make me too then? No, 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 no. Guys, how old are you? You're 17 now, right? Honestly? The phases of life, infancy, childhood, teens, real life. Real life starts at 18. If you're 17, you're closer to real life than you are teens. We got round up, guys. You're an adult now. Oh, you are 18 now? Bullshit, you're not 18. You're only saying that because you're not allowed to be on YouTube if you're not 18. Lying ass bitch. Uh, I, I don't. Eh. It, it's a tat. It, nah, I'm not keeping it. Yeah, I'll keep it. Screw it. I don't know why. You guys should see the relics that I keep. Hey, I don't know that kind of. I keep the most bullshit relic. The most copium, copium. Like, you never know. They're cool, bro. When I was, you guys remember when I was farming for wealth? And I was like, you never know. There could be a defense scaling imaginary character. A year later, there's still no defense scaling imaginary character. We had a whole birthday party for him and everything. No. Yeah, see, Ironhead says that someone beyond the 30s, you round down to 30. Thank you, Ironhead. Thank you. Anyways, Kaiser, yeah, you're 18. We're rounding down, bro. You, you, you just, you're still in your teens. If that's how we're going to look at it. Uh, either way, 17, 18, you're like barely at the threshold. Hey, those could be kind of nice, you know? You heal the DOT character? I don't know. Again, like, wait, why do I keep half these? I really don't know. I really don't know. Father of the Year award. We had a whole birthday party. Why wasn't I invited? That's the fact up thing. Hey, this is the kind of shit that would happen in school. People would be like, oh, you didn't know this? We did a whole shebang. And then it's like, you literally didn't invite me. How am I supposed to know? What the feck? I says, you were there. I was not there. I sang happy birthday to Kaiser. No one told me he was 18. All right, son, go buy your old dad some cigarettes, buddy. <laughs> I wasn't there. This is some Discord. This happened in the Discord server while I was not there. Stand still. Kusa says, I feel old. I'm 27, close to 28. Brother, listen, you're only... Here's the crazy thing. Uh, as you get older, you're only going to feel like you're getting older. I know. Take as long as you need to process that. I, I get that that's that's a lot. But like, uh, as you get older, you're going to be like, damn, I feel like I'm getting old. And then it's like plot twist. You're literally getting old. Weird, I know. I use all 10 of my self-modeling resin for Akron. I got stacks on stacks of defense. Ooh. Ooh, you actually hate the... We got Gallagher's harem down here. I hear... I think I've done a pretty good job staying largely spoiler-free. Um, <laughs> I will say, unfortunately, I am painfully aware of one revelation. Uh, uh, Moigiana, sorry about you. I am painfully aware of one revelation that happens in this story quest. I actually thought it happened in the 2.0 story quest. Uh, like, I've been aware of it for a little while now. 
And I'm not super stoked about that. I spoiled myself, to be fair. But as far as most of the stuff for 2.1 specifically, I don't know a lot, but I have heard. Like, I've seen a couple of people say that they just love Gallagher even more after this quest. Knowing the Star Rail community, that means he either does something really badass or really fact up. And I'm not totally sure, like, what side of the fence we fall on here. Like, you know, obviously no spoilers, but what the, what is this? Why is it glowing? I'm in the dream reverie. Where the hell do I have to go? My, oh, right next to the teleport waypoint. Okay, um, volume, um, let me turn my speakers up. I really don't feel like wearing those headphones all night. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, 2.1 was pretty good. Definitely agree Gallagher is a more interesting character now. Okay, Loki, I mean, no, no offense to Surus, but that's a spoiler because coming from Surus, that means Gallagher does something fact up. All right, Sur Surus has been in the community. Like, I kind of like know how the old timers in the community talk. And like when Surus, that, that phrasing tells me Gallagher does something fact up. Something really facky wacky happens with Gallagher. It's like a long way to the story you know what Gallagher did. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see. You already know what Gallagher did? No, I have no idea. I just saw on Twitter where somebody said that it made them like Gallagher even more. Like I've seen a couple of people say that. Um, so then I was like, you know, knowing the Star Rail community, he either does something really cool or really fucked up. And then, and then Cirrus, I, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to say this right now. And if I'm right, if I'm right, it just goes to show how much I, how much I know and care about my community. How about that? How about that? I just, I just know how some people talk. Anyways, it's too late at night for me to be drinking this Mountain Dew. Also, uh, as a heads up, this is going to be a two-part stream. Stream, two-part journey. How about two-part journey? Um, so once we are finished with this stream this evening, um, we're going to find a stopping point. And then we'll pick it back up tomorrow night. I don't have the pre-party, like I don't have the stream scheduled for tomorrow night. But uh, there will be a continuation tomorrow where we, we will finish it up. Um, Kasusa says, no one's cooler than the Chad Adventurine. I don't disagree. Huh? Adventuring's pretty pretty awesome. Uh the reverie reality. Adventuring dog, what's cracking? Oh, friend. What's cracking, cracker? My expression wasn't much better than yours when I first saw this. Uh are we gonna be looking Your at eyes aren't deceiving Dead you. Robin just floating? It's okay. her. The famous singer Robin. I will say it was kind of nice because like I did this, um, I don't know if we even waited a full week before we did the 2.0 story. We might have hit that thing after like three or four days. Um, so some time has passed, but my wife recently played through and caught up. I got like a little like crash course refresher, which was nice. Good Robin, actually. Also, heads up and fair warning. Well, first of all, probably won't do a very good job keeping up with the chat. I, I want to, I want to buckle down and actually like, get the story done and not get distracted here. nonstop, as I tend to do. The family can testify for me. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me and they hate the IPC, so they'd never lie. All right, so that that involved that includes Gallagher, right? Gallagher's part of the Bloodhounds, so he hates adventuring. He hates the IPC. That's my boy. This is not where the crime happened. What I showed you was a memory. The most basic light cone manifesting tech. Authorized by the Garden of Recollection and owned by the IPC. Is he bragging about patents right now? Did you really think the Galaxy Rangers were outsiders this whole time? Panacone has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Any person in distress will be forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. The family's dream weavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. Hmm. Breaking through this line of defense to create death in the dreamscape. <laughs> Not even a memo keeper could do that without the family's permission. Who could have done it, friend? The only one is her. 
the girl who calls herself a galaxy ranger. Oh. An imposter, an unsought guest, an emanator who hides her true identity. I forgot this story was going to revolve heavily around Acheron, I'm not going to lie. His death was a <laughs> foregone conclusion. And Robin? Her misfortune was staring right at her. So he's implying that Acheron killed Robin? Who will be the next to die? If that's the case, I can't trust anyone. It's fine. <laughs> so they can just Listen make light cones? Make me Acherons Building right now. Always takes time. Right meow. And I'm willing to wait. Red Rocks lit up, bro. I just hope you realize that wherever that legacy is concerned, covert plans are already underway throughout Panacone. Everyone's got their own agenda. Careful you don't get stuck on the wrong Agenda? Side. I barely know her. If I were you, I'd keep my distance from Acheron. Mm -mm. After all, any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than a monster in the shadows. Right? Debatable. Who's to say there isn't an even deeper oh, conspiracy here she lurking is. beneath the surface? Yeah, yeah, after all, beneath the surface lies an endless abyss! Seth says, I refuse to get my distance. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. Finished the 2.1 story a while ago. It's so good. I love it. I've heard... Actually, I, I shouldn't say I've heard nothing but good things. I've heard that <laughs> it falls victim to the Genshin Impact and Honkai Impact style of yapping, which, as we all know, I'm not a fan of. We'll see how it goes. Generally speaking, I found that st even Star Rail's yapping is a lot more engaging. Um... It feels like less filler and more like actual development. A lot of it, you know, necessary, not necessarily, but memo keeper. I think our little after all, that's like eighty percent of what the C and Joe Lafu quest line was was random ass yapping with zero fucking context. Adventuring is telling the truth. This memory is a real one, and there's no sign of any distortion grafting on. The IPC is not the garden. And there are real limits to what they can actually do. But you know all this. Friend, let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is, Yapping and I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. I told you I'm just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. I just came to Pentagoni for work. I'm here to retrieve some lost property for the IPC, if you catch my drift. Yeah, I'll catch your drift, buddy. I'm talking ownership of this frontier prison. Why don't you drift into my rivers, buddy? Uh, why yellow? If random yapping, then why yellow? Let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is, I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. It, did we ever get like an actual reason for why Acheron's text was red in 2.0? And if so, do we know why this is yellow? Because I have no idea. This has all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take our calls. You have no Can't idea blame them. how difficult these Attack people the are IPC. to deal with. Put it this way. They've hushed up the existence of death before, so they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. What's up, Idiot Taco? Welcome, welcome. It'll just quietly float off like a bubble and pop. Nobody ever being the wiser. That's not fair, right? I can't trust you. That's fine. I'm not forcing you, but I'm really not asking for much, so why don't you at least hear me out? I hear you out. Come whisper in my ear, big I boy. I have but only one goal. The family's front door is like a high wall. And to tear the whole thing down, I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. Oh. Once I find a weak point, the IPC will have plenty of <laughs> Red text means you read it in sexy mode. I thought that was just all of it. So long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we can have justice for Robin. <laughs> While also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table. I see. Truly a ulterior motive opportunity. I've been investigating and making lots of friends all over Panacone precisely for this very moment. This tragic news would be extremely bad for the family. 
so they'll be doing everything they can to stop it leaking. But I trust that there are still a few factions that remain exceptions. And that's why I need you all. You get to find out really what happened and seek justice. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. Hmm. Yeah, I, I like that answer. This is like this is way above my pay grade. Don't worry, just head back and talk things over with your companions. That navigator is really smart. She must understand the value of this deal. Is, is he talking look, about Himiko or Pom Pom? Details. If you come to any conclusions, call me. Hey, all right, big oh, boy. and take this. A thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. So long, friend. I really am looking right, big forward boy. to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. What's up, CC? Aventurine just sauntered off. He really doesn't mean to force it, but something still seems off. What now? What are your plans? Black Swan. What is she thinking? There's literally not a single thought behind those eyes. Look at him. Mmm. Hey, girlfriend. Mwah. On the surface, this is like a bad deal for you. But Aventurine is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be. He doesn't know about Miss Firefly yet. But, judging by your reaction, he may have noticed something going on and deliberately shifted topics to the truth of death to try and pull you in line with his way of thinking. That's quick thinking and very sound logic. Aventurine is no fool, and working with him definitely has its dangers. Good morning, Gloam. Thank you for doing the Lord's work in the Discord server. Hmm. Hmm. For Firefly's sake, we must get to the bottom that of all this. Is something I agree on. Anyway, be careful out there. There's more than one way to blaze a trail. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. Fair As point. As for the other questions... Oh, oh, here we go. All right. I'm not sure the two cases were committed by the same culprit, but that massive wound looked like its winged blade. We've all witnessed it in action before. Plus, it seems unlikely that there would be two lethal entities loose in the dreamscape. Sorry, I can't answer that question. That ranger is shrouded in mystery. Covering up for a girlfriend. I'm afraid no one is capable of providing an answer. But without a doubt, she is the most special guest at this banquet. Oh. It's like Aventurine said just then. It's best to keep your distance from her. Two victims appearing one after the yeah, other. Ah, half an hour behind. Time. Damn. Well, welcome back to reality, brother. Very unusual. <laughs> I wonder what you were talking Two about. He said he's twenty-three. It's like, was he? Is he talking about the, the age thing of again? The dreamscape has started speeding <clears throat> up, making death extremely agitated and weakening the family's protections. Or everything has been planned out and executed by someone. If someone has chosen these victims deliberately, first a smuggler, then a family celebrity, then this murderer's motives are worth thoroughly chewing over. It's all I don't have any other so questions. Quickly, I can only make I'm conjecture. Good. After leaving here, go have a chat with your companions. All right. Yeah, lead me through the chaotic dreamscape. Not gonna lie, I did not, uh, not particularly enjoy walking through it the first time. Come. This way. No. It's a short walk. Don't get lost. All right. Don't worry. I fucking won't. Lead the way, bitch. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Lesbian power is activated. Shka. Speaking of age, my birthday is coming up. When is it, idiot taco? When is it today? April Fool's Day. This way. Well, I guess not. Not in your time this zone. This is but. where we part ways. All of this is like. A nightmare. Unfortunately, the remembrance doesn't lie. What we just saw is the reality that happened. 
and it won't fade from our minds just because we wake up. The third. Well, hey, happy early but birthday. Well, shoot, I guess tomorrow night stream, uh, I can sing to you because it'll be the third in your time zone. through this world casting shadows of different lengths. And ultimately, all we leave behind are precious Oh, shoot. Gloom's birthday is coming up too. Hey, my, and my birthday is this month as well. just a sec. Happy early birthday to you too, Gloom. When's that? Whoa. There you go. Touch my freaking ear hole, gift. bro. If one day you unfortunately fall into the deep waters of the memory zone and there's no memo keeper to join you, hopefully it can guide you on my behalf. I like the, the idea I that there's more than one memo keeper. The Are they all the as world. badass as Black Swan or is she Just like extra think of special this as among an apology them? From me for hiding something from you. Uh, thank you. Then I have something private. It's to October take care 21st. Of regarding that galaxy <laughs> ranger. Let's leave things there, shall we? What fascinating memory that is technically you coming up next time we meet. I sincerely look forward to them. Hello, March. I feel so antsy. Help! Help! March is like, help! <laughs> Don, Don Hong's like, uh, do I need to come down there? Do not make my ass come down there. I'm done. All done. Me, 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 me. They didn't do anything bad, did she? Unfortunately, no. Meet near the Thin clocky man. statue. Okay. Is Himiko okay? Was that a light cone? Quick question: Can I teleport there faster than I can walk there? Survey says yes, ma'am. Go. So much has happened. I should take a moment to gather my thoughts and wait for everyone to arrive. What's this? Little mini game? Deep in the memories. Oh shoot! It's a cutscene. Right now, Ranger. Do you still dream, Hunter, of those slain by your hand? <sighs> Damn, bro. No, go back, man. Oh, is it gonna show her killing their asses? Yeah. Yeah. It appears the outcome has already been determined. We're still alive, as are you. You still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind, and then go. Choice. The bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room for hesitation. The Taurus Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that eon, you won't get special treatment. Ranger, you'll tread the narrow path of the hunt. You could never understand. The hunt? We come from the fire and are born bathed in fire. We spread, burn, and destroy until all the kindling has burned out and we leave only ashes on the ground. Yeah, yeah, def definitely. The voice act for Duke Inferno did a very bang up job. Life of a fire From the beginning to the end. We are born to die. Air Enjoyer, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the kind words. Happy that you're here. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. They are my children, and just as I was, they are flames that have yet to burn my heart. They're still young, and I don't believe them. But 
my flames are feet. And time is running out. Can you see the planet of festivities in the distance? I mm. plan to bring purgatory with me there. And before that... What's up, Blackout? I must surpass you. I'm glad that they fleshed this situation out. Why? Because on the path they have forged, you have traveled farther than I have. Emanator. Uh-huh. All right. Second reference to her being an emanator. She blows it off. You cannot hide your true identity. Draw that sword. For we shall indeed remain here, bound to fight a decisive battle to the death. For I choose this. So is she an emanator of the hunt? Is that what we're getting at here? Is intense, but brief. To cravenly cling to life is to endure an end. Because I thought, uh, I thought J isn't Jing Yuan an emanator of the hunt? Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction. What is important is not the answer, but that it exists just as you exist. Everything exists. She's the emanator of my heart. <laughs> Emanators are no What's up, Diz? Just okay, so they'll explain it. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Emanator of my bank account. The so called impossible is merely something that is yet to happen i'm really glad they fleshed this out <sighs> all right i accept you shall witness the most brilliant and intense fire in existence may this flame illuminate the farthest reaches of your I, I don't want to get my hopes up like a proper cutscene for this but that would be pretty badass a bottomless dream <laughs> yes that's right but you've made one small mistake this blade remains in its scabbard not out of pity or scorn it's a personal secret that i don't want to disclose that's cool but perhaps out of reciprocity yeah it's so like I had noticed like in her overworld gameplay, like her base, her basic attack in the overworld, uh, she slings her sword still sheathed. And then here, to make it very obvious, she's pointing at him, pointing the sword at him still sheathed. And now she's like talking about like, why? Which is cool. I'll reveal the truth to you. The hunt. Is not the path I truly follow. <laughs> May death be the end of your boundless dream, guiding you back to the waking world. I still see them in my dreams. Damn! Oh, she changed her fucking mind. Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. Damn! The drama. I I've seen many clever disguises that can conceal appearances, but they can never cover up who a person really is. And you're no different. You had no desire to kill the trailblazer. You only did what you did to drive me and the memo keeper away, but why? <sighs> did Destiny's slave make you do it? You know, Elio. I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. My script has always been brief. Other than that, anything beyond that is unnecessary. He knows my nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. And until then, I hold the privilege of choice. However, you appear to be ignorant of this. So it's time for me to inquire. Sam is so freaking exactly cool, dude. Exactly are you? Not your enemy, perhaps. 
That's not what I asked. I don't deserve your curiosity. Damn. Learners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. Maybe I can help. What reason would you have for doing that? I tend to forget things. Which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. So... Interesting. I know who is inside that cold armor. <gasps> How about it? Ready to take off that armor and sit down for a talk? It's not yet time. I don't need help. But I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. If your goal is the Watchmaker's legacy, then go look into the family. Not only are they covering up the existence of death, but they're burying the past and the truth about what happens inside the dreamscape. I like this idea and this continued narrative that the Stellaron Hunters aren't like proper evil. You know what I mean? Like they're not really the bad guys. It's, it's kind of one of those things where they're like uh, morally gray, 100% doing some fact up stuff, 100%. But you know, the narrative here is that like, again, the family, you know, it, it you know, kind of leans into like, you know, the, the powers that be kind of thing. Uh, like it's insinuated that like now the family and the IPC, those are more of like overall enemies than the Stellaron hunters are. They just happen to be a, you know, a conflict of, uh, I guess, really a conflict of interest with the uh, the Trailblazers, which is cool. You know, I like that. I like that narrative, that twist. Star World has done a really good job of like, you know, like it, not finding a way to make us kind of just love and appreciate every character they introduce. Except for Topaz, somehow, I don't know, bro, I still, like, hate Topaz's guts. Love her as a character, like, as a unit in the game, but, like, you know, I, the, the way they writ, wrote Topaz, I, I don't fucking like her, bro. I don't know what to tell you. Already on it. And the Astral Express is no enemy of yours. I know that. I just never expected to hear you say it. What's next, then? Trailblazer's been taken by Black Swan. Will you go look for him? You just don't like corporate? I sure as fact don't. <laughs> Simic says, I clicked on Sam's art stream. Who's this beard, this baller? It's your boy, slurping Sammy. No need for that. Yummy. No harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me one instruction. Get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. I tried settling this in an easier and more direct way. But as you can see, here I am confronting you. I failed. Hmm. Can't ever go against the script. The so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. That's it. Before we split, can I ask you one more thing? Gloam says, I like the scene a lot because, uh, it, it wow, ju juxta, ju just a posse, just a posse's Duke Inferno and Sam, both agents of destruction. Duke Inferno believes that destruction is not a choice, but a necessity. He's a true being of destruction. Sam is someone with a conscience and a sense of choice. Sam is definitely aware of the self-immolation nature of the destruction, but still makes choices and lives life to the fullest. I like that too. I, I honestly, I wouldn't have caught the, you know, like the contrast in uh, storytelling and character building between the two of them, with Acheron being the like the uh, the common pillar there, Is there common denominator. Else in your script about me? I'd like to know what kind More of red footnote text. I get to leave in that future foreseen by destiny. Hey, Blackout just hit 250 special passes. Who the hell are you saving for, Sam? Unfortunately, not a thing came up. Hmm. I knew it. That's fucking weird, huh? It's like she doesn't exist? Hang on. I... don't... 
Don't. What? Your first question was... Do you still have dreams? About everyone who died because of you? I don't. Never have. I was born without the ability to dream. I live for this cold, harsh reality. For a little light and to burn to keep on burning until I turn to ash. Damn, dog! So, I really envy you. Oh, dude, his delivery. Aiden, uh, Aiden Rudd, right? Is it Rudd or Rude? Wow, bro, that... The delivery on those two lines gave me the chills. Damn. Ooh. Is that so? Then you're already living in the waking world. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. A little Loki clap back there. A little like, mm -hmm. got his ass. Ooh. Ooh. The golden Wait, slumber. Holy shit, Gloam, it's happening. Black Swan. But we never expected Miss Robin to. Christine, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it. Oh, I'm sorry that I couldn't be with you then. I forgive you, Emiko. I will forgive you in every lifetime. Another interpretation is that Sam doesn't dream because all the killing and shit is a choice that Sam made and is sure of himself, unlike Duke Inferno, who is the one actually following the script. Hmm. <laughs> I like the writing in Star Rail a lot. Reality cruises on in serenity, while undercurrents bubble up from the dreamscape. Just like that memo keeper said. Stay strong, everyone. We can still do what we can for them. Starting with finding... Blum says I just wrote a bunch of run-on sentences, and I'm very ashamed of myself. Ah, yeah, character limits, they do that to you. Let's recap everything, then. The trailblazer just reminded me of something. March, do you remember what that family rep who negotiated with us said? Uh, indeed we trust that the Nameless has nothing to do with this. And we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. Uh, that's how it was put. In reference to Miss Firefly. Looking back, he seemed a little evasive at the time. And he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. The family's planning on covering up all news about Miss Robin's death. If news gets out, Penacone's going to turn into a bloodbath. But the murder that followed closely after was obviously beyond their anticipation. Val says, the hear me out! All right, let her cook. Things to their advantage let her by cook. bringing in reinforcements from outside. The Charmony Festival is nearly here. They must be snowed under. It may also be that Miss Firefly's murder had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered up. So they went with the flow and let more people on the scene to control the situation. After all, the nature of the two murders is fundamentally different. The family's first protective measure should be against malicious actors among the guests. He really is up to no good. All the while accusing that galaxy ranger. I, I think they're both kind of up Are to no good if we're going to be honest for the here. Trees here. I always felt that Aventurine's reasons for accusing Miss Acheron were highly subtle. Can we believe him? To an extent. At this point, I'm afraid the only ones we can trust are ourselves. Pom Pom is soft Let's and fluffy. We had a Pom Pom. Do you guys see that video of uh, the, possible the April Fool's video that Star Wars posted of Pom Pom versus Chun Li? It's it just like a little like character select screen from Street Fighter, and it was Pom Pom versus Chun Li. And I was like, damn, bro. Finally, I get to see Pom Pom x Chun Li without Rule 34. Like, it's official now. That's cool to see, right? I've still got this. In fact, it's something we can all appreciate. It's like we're stuck in a whirlpool. It Spinning around that legacy even after everything that's happened. Uh, this time we're playing the role of a real detective. That's right, Ryuka. It's but Morbid time. We start, 
What are we going to say to the family and Aventurine? As I see things, the family harbors no ill will towards the Astral Express. If they didn't trust the crew, they wouldn't have casually commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's, in all likelihood, a scandal. Plus, this is the family's turf. As for that Aventurine... He's complex. He deliberately slow-played his hand during negotiations while running circles around us all the while. He appealed convincingly to both reason and emotion. Still, it's good to have Homeboy's just good with his words. Uncertainty. Adventurine showed his skills, and as far as our interests are aligned, he can become a reliable ally. Damn, I just realized. Bitch, you are literally standing still. They gave Himiko's hair the same physics that they give breast and weathering waves. That's crazy, bro. We also need to keep a certain distance from the family. Never let them get too close. Teaming up with the IPC helps balance that out. So you suggest accepting Aventurine's proposal to team up? I'll hate them stand back. Yes. I'm gonna marm. It's risky, but we can only wait until both sides have played their cards before making any further judgments. I get why, but there's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here. I'm Bad guys about being and girls. In the back. She's been bullied a few times now, and I can't stand it anymore. Go on, give March her her Sailor Moon transformation. Oh, it's cool. You can bully me whenever. Uh, you. <laughs> no, I can't accept this. Damn. Uh, forget about it. Just let me keep an eye on him. Then could you please reply to Aventurine? We'll collaborate, brother. Wonderful. Your response came faster than I expected. From now on, we'll all be in this together. Here's a small something for our upcoming partnership. That's a lot of money! <laughs> <laughs> 100,000, goddamn! But the other case, that depends on what excuses they have prepared for you guys. I'll take my leave for now. And I look forward to outstanding performance from you guys. All right, slut Looks boy. Like is happy with this yeah. outcome. Damn man whore. About it. All right, here we go, bitch. We're doing it. You sent a bunch of money. To try and recapture Penicone for IPC. The existence of death will be covered up by the family. So, how does he plan on taking them down? Uh... Aventurine has devoted considerable attention to her. But this Galaxy Ranger... We know hardly anything about her. And can't rush to any conclusions. Gex. Gex. This implies that only the guys are bad. There's bad guys and also girls. I like He's that. Yeah, that's fine. He's going for the family, and it's just a matter of how. If that's the case, then call me a bad the boy too. The is strong in Penicone, and almost impossible to take on head to head. I'm just speculating. I read all that. I'm not gonna lie. In any case, we have to be careful when handling Aventurine. He's clearly a born gambler if he's willing to go all in to win. He's a psycho. I like him. I like him a lot. Aventurine said something that concerns me. He Everything concerns you, dog. He Ranger of killing Robin without any evidence whatsoever, but said nothing about her connection to that memory zone meme or why he was stalking you. It was a groundless accusation. You keep being sussy, I'm gonna uncosmic to make fact out of your brownies. Wow. Suspicious. Leave my brownie alone, homeboy. He's bluffing. Maybe Aventurine's goal was never to gain our trust. Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards Acheron and make the situation more volatile. However, I Two asked birds, one Don dice. back on the Express to confirm that story about the Annihilation Gang and the lost messages. It wasn't something that Aventurine made up out of thin air. Oh yeah, she you killed their ass. Many times now. What's your impression of Which is crazy, bro. They they literally released a whole Myriad Celestia trailer 
for the Annihilation Gang and like, you know, all the, the children. Oh, they're just fucking dead now, bro. You know how much time they spend on those designs? Some of those designs, actually, like all those designs were bussin' bussin' for real, for real. No God on Cat. Like, for real. For real. Rizzed out of their minds. It's crazy. Like she, did she kill them all or just Duke? Oh, the children are alive? Oh, okay. No, nah, never mind. We're fine. Everything's fine then. Uh, speaking of, weird, I can't seem to remember. That fits the stereotype of a galaxy ranger to a T. It was good, good timing for that dialogue option to be available. Centric, unpredictable, and fond of being alone. Really Screw the mask, bitch. March, baby girl, let's kiss. Mm, look, it's so scenic. I hope it's not too soon to bring Lesbian! But I feel like Miss Robin isn't actually dead, but that she's still alive and well. Somewhere. To the that everything's stars. just some horrible prank. Mandalore, thank you for the resub. Because aren't we supposed to be inside Welcome a dream? How could Dogs. someone All right. die in a beautiful dreamscape like this? We're gonna have to mute the alerts as soon as the resub thing. Here? Uh, also, to the Zards. Dogs. I muted the wrong alert box. Why do I still have my Facebook gaming alert box in OBS? Uh, good question. Good question. Glom says, what if I resub next? Uh, the notification will not go through because we have muted it for the time being. Just give it a couple minutes to let it cook. So for whatever reason, it, it'll do that for the resubs and it'll play each one of them twice. And it takes forever. Forever. Fun fact, if you selected anything other than not remembering, it'll force you to pick it in red text. Really? Huh, interesting. Anyways, Marsh, no, not all dreams are good. In fact, I had a, I had a bad one last night. Weird shit, you know? <sighs> Whenever I see the Grand Theater, I just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head. She's a hopeless romantic. We'll restore all the dreams back to normal. Yeah, of course. At times like this, we're so lucky to have our crew. The family and the IPC. Everyone has their own plans going on. Everyone's still having a great time out there on the streets. Nobody knows what's happened. It's all so unreal. As if Firefly, Miss Robin, and us were all outsiders from another world. Aw, what a mess. <laughs> I really want a nice cool drink of soda to help me calm down. Pour one out for the homie March 7th. Uh, but then I'd be just like everyone else out on the streets. Uh. Looks like adventuring doesn't Damn, Glum out here having so nightmares about work. Let's turn our attention to the family's assignment for now. That's when you know it's feckin' Nicole, rough, brother. Been there. What do you think? Among our current clues, the two murders that she witnessed are the most directly connected. I suggest starting here. One thing I'm curious about is, if a person dies in a dream, what happens to them in real life? I mean, there's theories. Seeing as we're at the family's behest, why not pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's situation back at the hotel? I feel like that should have been step one. I'm not going to lie. There are still some things worth focusing on inside the dreamscape. Worth focusing on? Oh. No problem. I'll leave it to you then. What does she know that we don't? Uh -huh. Aww, I thought I'd finally get to see Himeko and Mr. Yang go out on a mission together. <laughs> I will. Keep in touch. Keep in touch. What well, else? Come on. Do some badass stuff. Come on, brother. Honored guest, uh, could you come out for a second? Is it Sparkle? Oh. I'd be embarrassed too, getting stared at like that. Uh, forgive me. 
Wow. My name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. Welt. Is there something about my name? That's cool. First, don't you want to know my name? <laughs> yeah, that's very cool. I already do, Miss Acheron. You're a prominent figure in Panacone. Where's the orange beard? You? First of all, it was never Some orange. That you're the real culprit. Never had orange hair a day in my goddamn life. Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade. Yeah. And that you're now attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Penicone. Uh, the Annihilation Gang. Ifrit of Everflame Mansion. Tragic fate. That duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as a martyr. He was a determined and heroic path strider. Not even a villain should be disparaged like this. Damn, all right. She, she, she got, more, there were plenty she of said, put some invited. respect on his name. Do they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that black hole you're wielding? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he's like, mm -hmm. intuition. Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this cane. So you must surely know, Miss Acheron. That peering into a black hole is not a wise move. Wait a As second. As a potential threat, your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable depths. Homeboy literally just be out here, survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. And be like, oh, they even, they didn't even know about the secret of the cane. What the feck? Reveal your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, Brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. Whoa. All right. Well, I nah, see this is the badass stuff. I, I literally just said do some badass stuff. Well, that shouldn't be necessary. But if it makes the nameless feel less defensive, I'll be happy to abide. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Right, so what, what's next? Believe it or not, Galaxy Ranger, Acheron. Those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Panacone is solely All to right. fulfill an old. I thought she was gonna list. like drop a certain name. I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. Yellow again. Why the fact? And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? It's not that I don't want to, it's just that I can't. I've come so far, and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. Everyone has their own unspeakable past. Secrets that they don't want to be revealed. And I won't be asking any more questions, such as why the Astral Express is roaming around the cosmos with a Stellaron on board. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. She Val, went. I saw that message. That memo keeper didn't do anything, right? She's fine. Yeah, Giga Let's Chad, just well. Stick with the topic. Gaining my trust depends on how much you're willing to reveal. Well, can put his black in my hole, you know what I'm saying? You're all right, we're being destroyed. There is no other choice. Just like the and Minecraft period, cheap thing, you know what I'm talking about? Contact with quite a few guests. In the process, I gradually came to realize the secret of Panacone may be closely related to the Trailblaze. Oh, that's, that's going to get his fucking attention. Home. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the family. If you could trust me, we could find the proof to support this claim together. Nihility gang, rise up. Mr. Yang, I think you've come to the same conclusion, haven't you? Let's leave it at that. For now, I'll choose to believe that you bear no hostility. Share your findings with me and me alone. I don't want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Mm-hmm. By the way, would you like something to drink? Before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? Wake the heck up? No. Four cups. <laughs> because the conversation coming up will last forever. Oh? Okay. All right. At the same time, hotel in the real Firefly, bitch. Watching her closely for a while now. 
Open the, the door! The invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. She just sat in one corner, keeping silent, chugging down a couple cups of wake the heck up. <laughs> I told her it's a pungent, bitter beverage, not the taste of sweet dreams, only for people allergic to soul glad. And she said, Really? But I don't taste any difference at all between them. Did she just like, like did she try and impersonate Acheron's voice and delivery there? <laughs> that, was like, that was pretty spot on, honestly. Long dark screen. Vibey music. I'm supposed to click? That was weird. The guest rooms are charmingly minimalist. Minimalist in what world? What the fuck? Did you just say Acheron is a minimalist design? This music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation Gang. There are latent memories that linger on it yet. What is this bitch's idea of minimalist? I mean, obviously, like, her design is extravagant, immaculate, and over the top. But, bro, what? Pinnacone minimalist? Bro, there's a synthwave sunset happening spread across 32 flat screen TVs behind a hot tub with floating bubbles. What? You see, memories of you are not yours alone. They travel in other people, other things. A clam-shaped hot tub. I know much, and I can predict even more. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. The Annihilation Gang, that band of desperados who all disappeared after meeting you. What exactly happened to them? Well, let me reveal all. Gradation 12. Dreamscape 12. Father, I dedicate this to you. Well done, Dubra. Wherever they go, shall be met by annihilation. Is that him? There it is. It's hazy, yeah, but okay. it's Ifrit's voice. I said, was that the Duke? The other one is probably his progeny. This is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. Then, what happened next is... They sought refuge in the land of sleep. Merely wishing for undisturbed rest away from the storms. Children of the flame, this marks your rite of passage. She won't be necessary. I alone am enough. Shh. When had thou, on the path of destruction, feared death? Oh, that guy's voice was cool. <laughs> Those Who the hell was that? His voice no was way cool. Hello, camera them. angle. Memory Give the cameraman away a raise. Well, but slowly, she'll be here soon, and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. Oh, domain expansion. <laughs> Holy fuck! What happened? The memory after that is blank. How is that possible? This music box fell into Acheron's hands and she brought it to Panacone. That's a fact. And that's how it should have gone. But along the way... Feckin' nothing, dog. It's like it's been erased. Who's done this? Who are you? Who are you? 
Is that Sparkle? It's... No. Is this not a memory? Oh, a memo keeper. No, that's not Do Sparkle. Do you serve the Garden of Recollection? Or the Cremators? Well, who is it then? My name is Constance. Oh, Constance. A pleasure to meet you. We were supposed to meet at Pentagoni and send it. <laughs> Unforgettable time together. Oh. But that seems oh. unrealistic. Dolly is not welcome on the banquet star, and I don't need a coming of age ceremony. So who's Constance? And you. <laughs> Did I think I can miss something? You're looking for. Want her secret? I can give it to you and then. You can enjoy the banquet for me. She's not one of uh, Ifrit's kids, right? Like, she's not one of them? I wish you unforgettable memories. Shit. Oh. Hmm. Oh, she is one of the kids. Okay, okay, okay. Wanna listen in? Uh, let's see. Is she the one? Which one is she? Is she the one with the, like, the horns that come down here? And, like, the, uh, the white, right? White jacket? That one was my fave. Is that her? Or is she like the uh the like the old ball and chain chick? Okay, yeah, that is her. Sick, sick, cool, cool, cool. That was my fave. That was my personal fave. E6, S5, easily. Did he talk to say the triple D looking Oh Lady D, gotcha, understood. I said, what the feck is it? Switching to adventure? A few days ago, the IPC what? made an announcement. Under the watchful guidance of the Marketing Development Department and in accordance with the Interstellar Peace Charter, the independent Sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. Okay. The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history turning the sensational Kataka Abjin extinction event into a distant memory. Hmm. Sigonia 4 is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Pruthian, and Dorneau star clusters. The planet's surface environment is known for being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small-scale celestial objects. Is that that's why Sparkle used like this Sigonian as a slur against them, right? Have made this planet their home, dividing themselves into several tribes to eke out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. They have developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. Hmm. Interesting. Sigonia. Sigonia. Ravenous eye of the storm. Burned by all the gods. Land of rock. Sparkle can make but anything sound like a slur. That's true. Lightning, but not rain. Blood, but not tears. Wow. You beat us with your falling stars. Damn, well, this chick you hates it there. You us with wind and storm. You promised us a land of honey. Biblical reference Yet there. yoked us beneath a sword of bitterness. Oh, Gyathra Triclops, if thou can hear me, please open up thy three eyes. Three. And gaze upon this child. When you took his father, my child, was still sleeping in my belly. And where my husband went, I too soon must go. I don't ask for a peaceful death. Just for you to tell me, does the baby swaddled sweetly asleep? Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat? And the sound of falling rain. Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. Otherwise, why 
would this child be born to face impending death? Mommy! 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 That's some rain right there. Rain. Oh. It's raining. Raining? So the rain is the son of Gareth the Triclops Darling, caming? Listen. This is oh. the sound of rain. <laughs> On the day you were born, the sky also sent down a gift like this from Gyathra. <laughs> Such a lucky child. Such a blessed child. <laughs> What's up, Jade? Just like your name. Time travel back to 09. Sammy's looking me. young. Yes, sir. Brother, looking young as hell, brother. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing and your schemes forever concealed. Oh, that, that prayer worked. Wake up, gambler. Oh, oh heavens. Uh, I must have drunk too much soul glad. <laughs> uh, didn't expect you to be back so soon. How is it? Just as you guessed. Dr. Ray. Nobody outside knows about Robin's death. There aren't even baseless conspiracy theories. They're still streaming the rehearsal for her ceremony. Using a stand-in, I guess. They must be dreaming. Of course. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? <laughs> Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. Until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. <laughs> Whenever there's any danger, so homeboy was in the dreamscape, literally pool, trying to kill himself. What the hell? Everything were just a nightmare. She really named a kid Katka. I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Then you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. When I graciously deigned to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, they were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Besides Robin, there was another body. I don't know the exact details, just that it was a stowaway. Two murder cases? <laughs> I told you something seemed off about the Nameless. Oh, she must have come across the other one. <laughs> this murderer Ryuka is Ryuka says, psycho. I still have doubts if that's actually but ratio. I, I haven't played the full quest. The that's an actual doubt. Hmm. We can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. It's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin's stand-in was all ready to go. <sighs> These two murders are definitely getting hushed up. Uh, what should we do? Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so... I gotta be careful. Incredible gambler. Have you already exhausted your limited repertoire of tricks so soon? Such an asshole. <laughs> no, there are plenty of chips, but it'd be best to choose carefully. The most straightforward has to be Robin. Remember? That masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. <laughs> Robin is what she calls the mute. She has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any voice box, but rather by the resonance of the harmony. If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. 
something was up with the family. Or Robin herself. To get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her. But she died. Damn. Right before my very eyes. Oh, Lady Samus aren't in the chat. Uh-oh. Spoilers. Loss. Incidentally, <laughs> these two in their toxic flirting. It seems flirting. to have resulted in your rather <laughs> undignified arrival on the interrogation stand. There were eyewitnesses at the scene, and the family, in their graciousness, has tentatively accepted your alibi. However, for the foreseeable future, you shall regrettably find I'll forget it by the time I do it myself. Watch Fair. Homes. Well, things aren't looking too optimistic. I say a lot of this has been world build, word, world building so far. There haven't been a lot of like incredible uh, revelations yet. There's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are. A probability. Yes, it exists, but it verges on the infinitesimal. To phrase it in a matter more befitting the vernacular of Penacony, you're dreaming. <laughs> but if you simply can't control yourself and want to try your hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. That man wants to see you again. Who? Oh. Welt? Sunday. Oh. Chicken wing boy. <laughs> Is this a public hearing or a private trial? If it were the former, it would hardly befit my stature to stoop to the role of a mere messenger. What an asshole. And he also with the 20-month membership milestone. Dr. Ratio can insult me all day as long as he wants, and I'm still willing to drink his bath water. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Oh, that's great. It's all great. You see, the dead can't talk, but the living can. Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family. Oh, just you wait and see. That man's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. Oh, without any further ado, let's set off. Lead the way. Lead the way. The show is about to begin. The show is about to begin. We're here. The Dewlight Pavilion is the Oak family's fortress and a place where heads of the families meet to discuss great plans for Panacone. Fortress? <laughs> well, I like this metaphor. I dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manner wasn't this heavily guarded. This mansion nominally belongs to Sunday and is very befitting of its owner. Without his express invitation, the likes of ordinary guests would never grace these grounds in their life. Wow, lifetimes. real royalty, huh? Look around while you still have this moment of freedom. Arika says this is where I'm at. I see. Hey, Doc, whose side are you on anyway? Well, spoiler alert then. Who's to say I... <laughs> we'll see. When we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, I'll pry an answer out of him. Pretty sure you'll be prying something, Follow big boy. Follow me and I'll bring you to his palm. All right, we get, we get a little bit of a uh, adventuring action here, right? Oh, this is an interesting mechanic. So I saw a clip of this uh, adventuring's voice actor playing this part, and he was just like geeking the hell out over like getting to play his character in the game. He's so swaggy, bro. Man's just swagged out of his damn mind. Look at his ass. Got that Nintendo Switch sound effect. No reward with no risk. I'll take it. Hey, you little bitch. Let me in. Hey, you two. That's a place of business. Shut up. No entry. I was requested by Mr. Sunday to bring him the suspect. My name is Ratio. Mm. He should have mentioned it to you. Oh, I close up on the hands? Mm, no, Ratio. not for you. Your punch virtual particle clock is impressive. Wow. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, the one on your head. Of course, it's nothing compared to my full pocket dimensional annihilating power armor of the Mobile Knights. 
Right. And as I mentioned, that fantasy raiment of yours doesn't exist. That's because you can't see it. Like I say, only family can see the glory of the mobile knights. <laughs> uh, enough. Get going. <sighs> it seems like the idiocy index here is no better than it is out there. <laughs> All right, hang on. Let me let me change. Can I change the team here? Yeah, we got we got adventuring on the team. Let's throw um let's throw yeah, let's throw uh, Silver Wolf on the team here. This would be a fun Acheron team. No, I wanted to go to the Dead treasure end. chest. The door is shut tight. I mean, there isn't a door. How did you get in before? For security reasons. I have to wait 14 days before I can change my name. Mm, that's what you get. Dreamscape, with the mechanisms hidden in these Nightingale statues. The direction of the statues can be controlled. Oh, we have a puzzle. On the previous occasion, an attendant named Kona had gone to the side room to verify something before setting the statues in the correct position. Right. Well, maybe we should do the same. He says, of course, we can use brute force. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to be using a little bit of brute force either way. All right, rather, I really hope we're using a little bit of brute force. I, it, it'd be cool to get a free ad this adventuring trial. Seat at the table. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping we get a, get a whip a little bit of ass here. That'd be fun. Open sesame! Uh huh. It doesn't matter. Which side we go up? No? Feeling lucky. Hey, okay. I pressed the wrong button. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Adventuring time! Let's do this! to know it'll be more than 14 days till the next stream literally tomorrow uh is adventuring the next five star yeah it's adventuring the robot guy you talking about sam uh, huh. more enemies I, I believe the current uh intel suggests it'll be be a minute before we get sam Time for a <laughs> another journey begins oh. destined for oblivion Sound effects are so badass. For the All right, slow motion. Dust spring. It too shall fall. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> That's so badass. Uh, did I hear some? Oh. Ah! All right. New goal. Don't win the battle until we get to use adventuring a little bit. Oh, I just realized isn't chosen. we all just have shields by default? I thought that was his technique in the first battle. What the fuck? I'm not reading all that. It's one of his traces. You wait, so he literally just you get a shield when you start the battle just because he exists. Whoa. Also, uh, Linus, what's going on? Thank you for stopping by. Oh wait, wait, no, no, no! The goal is to not win the fight until after we get to use adventuring. Can I have fun? We need to use them at least once. Yeah, we did it. We used them once. <laughs> adventuring is what you get when Hathen and Kave goes on the adventure. What do you want to know? Gay boy lovers. All right, now we can just whip some ass. <laughs> Wait, actually, I wonder if we can use, uh, let's see if we can use Adventuring's bolt. It's on me. Oh, Destiny not yet. Uh. What's a gex? This song's a little hard, but you hear that? That upright bass getting feckin' slapped, brother. No risk. 
Mm, I'll take it. Mm, I'll take it. Which way are we going? This way? Right? Yep. Yeah, all right. Not gonna lie, can't say I'm a huge fan of like the little like running on walls mechanic here. Uh, but after all, beneath the water lies an endless abyss. Don't worry, we'll get to use his ult at some point, right? Uh, let's see. So I wanna go. Yeah, we'll just go this way, right? I mean, that, that should take us right there. Six nightingales facing in different directions. An obvious hint. Mm. But are these nightingales? Okay, brain. They are. What's wrong? How can nightingales be so huge? <laughs> they look more melt, like torment melt eagles Melt this picture me. into your me memory. There are no eagles in the five families. Only nightingales. <sighs> Why All right. am I wasting time with Photographic animals? memory, do your thing. I already forgot. Shit. All right, hang on, hang on. All right, all right, all right. So you, you need to go... Uh, how far clockwise do you turn? Right there. Stop. I don't think it was turned that far, bro. Oh, that's literally the picture? Okay, well, that's feckin'. All right. Well, you know what, dude? A photographic memory was going to do its thing anyways. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I guess from this angle... See, I thought that one up at the front was like turned beep, just slightly more like a, a 10 or 11 o'clock, not a, not a 9 o'clock, you know? All right, asshole, you need to face, uh, see, he needs to face the the walkway. You need to face forward. And you need to face forward, right? I think that's it. Mm, nope. He's not facing backwards, is he? Is he? Was he facing backwards? I think he was. Uh-uh. Well, yep. all right. Screw that. Oh, we just facing this wall. Well, we came pretty close. One more time, counterclockwise, brother. Please? Please? Okay. <laughs> Damn. Fact, I think it was just not gonna go, huh? Just as I thought. Here's the correct answer. No, oh, I was about to go through that door. miraculous discovery. Perhaps I should offer you the chance to join the Genius Society. <laughs> He's such a dick, bro. Really? It's crazy. <laughs> well, we have literally well, Black Swan in the chat. Already. What's good? Tony, what's up? Wake up! I was being oh, sarcastic. <laughs> Look at his slutty <laughs> hips when he goes... What a tramp. Jump off! Oh, shit. Oh, oh, never mind. Impressive. Well, so much for Mr. Sunday's reserved, virtuous image. Do you need me to remind you? We're in a dreamscape. No matter how grand the mansion looks, it'll not affect Penacony. Yeah, you're right. The only way to destroy the family is death. <laughs> hmm. Jump. Yep. All right, fine. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take the long way. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I think I think we're just not gonna like kill everybody. You know we don't really have to. We don't have to kill everybody. Uh oh shoot. All right, take me in. Uh, how do we do these again? You click it right. So here it is. Awaken, world cleansing dragon. <laughs> Hands close up, please. Oh my God, this is crazy, bro. Uh, <laughs> treasure chest. Yay, yay, we did it. 
Was that five jade? Mm, say less, bro. Banger! Uh, whatever. <laughs> okay, alright. Hey, let's make it go! Hey, I think that's that's E5, bro. I'll get E6 Gallagher with my uh my little freebie. My free pick. Alright, no no more cats. No more touching the banner. It's so toxic. Careful. Don't get too lost in those sweet dreams. <laughs> sweet dreams about you, brother. Anyways, uh that was a lot. A lot of shit here. Can you see me? Get your ass out. Yoink. You guys just says one more no balls. No, nope, I'm good. I shall wait. I don't even think I don't even think I really want E1, bro. What, what's E1? It's like it's like crit damage something. Yeah, yeah, crit rate, crit rate. Yeah, and I don't I don't really need that, bro. I mean that's that's pretty significant. I don't feel like I need it. I should say it wouldn't hurt anything, but you know I feel like I'd rather have like adventuring. Hold on. Huh? <laughs> what's wrong? Are we heading the wrong way? No, but this door is locked. My friend. Did you really make an appointment with him? Was he no no shot he was it's lying? It's a trial. You got to prove your worth to Sunday before you can speak with him. Mm. If I'm not wrong, we need to find a way to open the store in the hall or this place will be our prison. Oh, oh an escape room. <laughs> Get serious. Save me no died. He was too games. old. Uh, okay. Let's head back. The <laughs> wow. Now that's an enormous sandbag. I'd love to build a tall building for myself. Once I have enough savings. Oh, look. Hmm. There's a noticeable gap in the model. There wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. Well, with your brilliant mind, you shouldn't have any trouble recalling what was here last time. Right, Doctor? Of course. Oh. Let's look around. When I see it, I will know it. Photographic memory kicking in for real, Fine. for real there, huh? Fine. Why do I feel that we're pursuing a degree in burglary now? Hey, because we are, brother. Because we freaking are, brother. Oh, one of these things. All right, hang on. Uh, boom. Uh, yeah, that's, that goes up there. That goes, I don't know, like feckin'. Uh, yeah. Um, this needs rotated, right? That looks better. Yeah. No, no, hang on. Oh, 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 frick. Oh. Who let blood cook? I don't fucking know. It looks like it, it needs to be hanging from something. All right, go back. We'll get back to you later. Uh, you. Um. 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 No, damn it. That felt right. Is that not right? Shit, that feels right. There we go. Uh, you. You can go. You little. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. I think we're gonna go up here. Yep. Bing bong. Uh, you can go right there. I swear to God, we put that piece right there at one point in time and it just didn't do anything. On God. Sundry, what's up, bat? What's up? Brrr, ah. Skip it a burp. Ah! He's about to punch me. I had no choice. All right, don't worry. We definitely get to see adventure insult this time. What do you want to know? <laughs> Still waters of oblivion. Boom! I hit the mark. All right. Huh? The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Hello. Not gonna lie, I don't know what his ult does. I know at some point he's going to launch a follow-up attack. We're just literally. Not taking damage, bro. That's crazy. That is so crazy. Literally, just don't take damage at all. Oh! I hit the mark. Glom says bust makes me feel good. What the fuck? What the fuck? Right? What? Oh, what the hell? Open sesame. Just keep on running, big Found boy. Here this we is go. it. Whoops. Wrong button again. Let's see, which way should we go? Oh, we should go this way to the mm, chest. Bust that thing, because busting feels good.
Blom says, you don't get the reference with your obscure, obscure knowledge. I thought you would. What? What? That feels like a very backhanded compliment. So thank you. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like we need to pick a fight with everybody in here. You know what I mean? Getting a little adventuring gameplay. We're good. We're good. We're good. I mean, there's a possibility that I, I pull for me. I'm not. Uh... Oh, I, oh, it's just one of these things. Okay. All right. Give me that. Give me that shit. Bad one. <laughs> that was it. It was literally just one piece. Hello, Robin. You dead ass bitch. I like those little puzzles, man. The the whole thing's just really uh hmm, satisfying. All right, whatever. It's all fucking take the long way around. Get your ass out of there. Hey. Hey. I guess says pull. Pull more, jump and pull. We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. Anyways, I just needed a quick moment of clarity to, to go pluck the bird. I saw the bird in my peripheral, then all of a sudden all focus went out the window. What's up there? Do I need to go up there yet? Yeah. Now we go up there. Uh, so I think we want to go, yeah, that direction. Close up on Robin. Her art is pretty. No. You only get, you're only allowed one close up per stream. You used yours on Adventuring's hands. So, uh, rules is rules. Sorry, I don't make them. That needs optimizing. Who are we gonna hit? <laughs> hit him. Why not? Oh, thank you. Alright, okay, we just hit him for the sake of hitting him. Meet the water, Lysen. In the Sebus. Lump says close up request. Adventure is a booba window. Okay, that's fine. Yep. Yep. Works for me. I am literally not going to complain. If you came to hear me complain about Adventure is a booba window, I weep for the departed. <laughs> I weep for the departed. It shall fall. Boom. Casual 403,000. Yep, love to see it. Oh my god, he just changed. He's gonna do it too. Oh, frick! Again? What does she mean, again? Ill fate to say. Can I have fun this time? Dusted for oblivion. Boom! <laughs> Damn, the character is cool as hell. I hit the mark. Uh. Ill tidings manifest. You took the big free will. This or combat was it needs a. <laughs> this is double speed. I use so many pulls on Akron Spanier to get E2 Gallagher, and I still don't have it. Damn. Honestly, I had um, I had great luck getting Gallagher. I really can't complain too much. Like at all. I I got I literally just got E5 on that meme pull that I just did, which means I complete the event, I get free Gallagher, so I have E6. I'm really stuffed, really chuffed about that, because I think Gallagher's pretty badass. I like Gallagher a lot. Um so we need to go uh, this away. Uh one of these things I'm not doing that. We'll do it later. I can always come back and do these puzzles like some other time. Some of them like those. Well, the, the little, uh, what, what are they called? I, I want to say Homu. It's not Homu. That, that's Hawkeye Impact. Some of those take a, they can take a minute. Be a little finicky, you know? All right. That's what we need. Ooh. follows luck. Just like it always does. Yeah. Uh, so we, we need to go back down, right? Is that gonna... It's like a cloud retainer thingy. Let's go. Oh, and the nameplate reads Gulliver's Arch. <laughs> well, I'm amazed you can remember something this tiny. If I were you, I would shut my mouth. It's wise to remain silent when you should. <laughs> I 
Maybe 60 plus pulls. Well, I mean, yeah, I don't know. So out of 60 pulls, you pulled three Gallagher's. That's one every other 10 pull. That's honestly not that bad, you know? It could have definitely gone worse. I know it's certainly gotten worse for me when pulling for new characters. Hell, I ended up with Ido before I got a single Kuki Shinobu. Well, this reminds me of one of those building toys. I mean, with the blocks. <laughs> I've never played with them before. <laughs> oh, look. A <laughs> Fremenet yeah, situation, closed. truly. And it fits perfectly. <laughs> so, what's next? Oh, yeah, our guardian. Yeah, it, it definitely, definitely an a hole. Dr. Ratio is an a-hole supreme, but like, it works. It really works. <laughs> oh, I pulled one and got E1 from the event. Oh, okay, okay. Well, oh, good heavens. D that is worse. Did I shrink? <laughs> Am I still in a dream? Damn, bro, don't freak out. Oh, doctor, you're huge. It's me, down here, in the... Sand put him in a jar bar. I want to put him in, a, in my oh, ear actually, so he can truly whisper sweet nothings to us. me. Just find a way to slip me into Sunday's collar and I'll infiltrate the family just <laughs> like that. <sighs> oh, fine. I was just kidding. Let's find a way to open the door. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was an unexpected but very nice touch. <laughs> Oh boy, literally just walking into the wall, old school game lag style. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, let's do the damn thing. Oh, there's another one up there. Now let's do this one. Yep, scatter around. What do I gotta like go talk to people to get it? Oh bullshit. All right, whatever. <laughs> it's like a like an incomplete dream here, bro. They got people T posing on the ground, dudes walking into the walls. That's funny, bro. Oh, just T posing in general. That's amazing. Uh, let's see. That's gonna go right there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, okay. Um, you probably go there. Yep, yep. And uh, let's see. You go there. Bah. Um. Try to go to Hogwarts. He took a wrong turn, brother. He took a wrong turn. Let's Gloom out here. Hello. Good luck, Gloom. Welcome Good luck with your report. He posed out of his mind, but it's amazing. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base model. It sounds like Happy a freaking uh, service. Pathfinder from Apex Legends. King Saver, I've got E0S1. I pulled E0 and I have the light cone. I'm very happy with E0. I have no desire to pull any further. I just have very bad self-control. I want to save. I want Robin. I want Robin for sure. Um, And then, I don't know. Adventuring, maybe I could use. I have Fushuan. Um, I'm very pleased with my Fushuan build. So, like, you know, not a lot of gripes there. And I do have Gallagher. Again, actually quite pleased with my Gallagher build. He's he's doing very well. I think he's definitely better than, uh, than Lynx and Natasha as far as four-star healers go. Um, but, you know, a, another premium... Sustain option like adventuring would be cool. So I don't know. And tell me about the tour. Hello. I am an oak soldier. I will <laughs> give it a kick. Model. Happy to be of service. <laughs> Generating guide. <laughs> kick it again. Found the nearest place. Look, model. Oh, oh, shit. You didn't have time to earn a five-star rating from me. What the hell was that? <laughs> now the family's toys are trying to frame me? I didn't... That's crazy. Oh, capsule machine. 
<laughs> There's no mechanism on the floor. <laughs> so, I was right. These models have interiors that look exactly <laughs> like the real they, they made a whole ass animation the just for that. that no one lives in them. Funny that Sunday puts a miniature That's that makes funny. him seem like a giant by comparison, right where he can see it first thing in the morning. <laughs> Insecure much? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Kind of get his ass there. <laughs> I'm the world's lousiest soldier. This is hilarious. Do I have to kill them? I'd rather not fight. There's a treasure chest. Can I pick that up and just leave? Serpentine patterns. Serpentine patterns. I think we're safe. All right. Anyways. Oh, wait, did it want me to go further in there? Damn it. Did I not pick that up? Okay, so I do have to kill. All right, whatever. Wish I would have killed them while they were right beside each other. <laughs> Sila or Sparkles technique. I guess I don't know what Sparkles is. Fushuan's is good too, because you can just sit there and eat it. Like they will hit Fushuan and she will not hesitate. She's like, uh -huh. ooh, that tickled. Was there a soft, gentle breeze just now? For oblivion. Ugh. So badass, bro. Character's so freaking cool. Wakey, wakey, bitch. Time to die. What do you want to know? Ill fate descends. Free will and still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It takes our fall. Oh, I could be using Akron's technique, couldn't I? <laughs> true, true. <laughs> oh, one of the fragments flew upstairs. I'll need to use the pinball machine to flick myself up there. Whoa, so I'm not hearing him say the word flick. It's tough. <sighs> I don't know if I'll pull a pull a venturing or not. <laughs> Oh, great. Doc, I'll need your brain power again. It's Loki lurking There's up there. There's no need to yell. I can hear you. So funny. He can flick me. Oh, no. Finally, a moment of peace. <laughs> He's like, thank God. Adventuring flicking and licking, huh? Sounds like a... Uh, Sounds like a lot. Oh wait, no, I don't want story doctor ratio. I want my doctor ratio. My doctor ratio kicks ass. Hang on, what do we got here? What are we working with? Oh my God. I literally just want to see my doctor ratio. Stop attacking me. Oh, geez. A sparkle gives you invisibility like Sila, but also gives you skill points when you enter battle? That's kind of crazy, ain't it? I'm asking questions. Answer me. Free. Free will, or whether from still waters of oblivion. That's what you. <laughs> Destiny is apparent. Uh. I like Dr. Ratio. I don't care if he's a free character or not. He's a great character. I use him all the damn time. Pleasant moments of solitude are always fleeting. Open up, let me out! Some of this creepy ass music happening. What the hell? You have Gallagher on a healing set, break or two, but I got him on a two piece, two piece break set. 
Oh, no, no, wait. I, I moved him to a two-piece speed set. I ended up hitting my brake requirements without the other two-piece brake set, so I put him on speed, actually. Had some nice pieces. So, um, yeah, he's at, you know, what 135 speed. I mean, he has a lot of crit damage. We'll get to that. He doesn't need the crit damage, but that's just how it happened. Uh, 156 break effect, so 150 is the cap. So we're a little over capped on break effect. He's yawning. Uh, little healing boost bonus. 80% effect resistance. And then, uh, yeah, I do have, you know, obviously E5. So he gets an extra 50 effect resistance when he goes into battle. Got him on the, uh, the effect resistance healing light cone. So he gets extra healing bonus there. Um, and yeah, the relics, like, you know, we, we casually... We got a casual 20, 27.8% crit damage on, on his, on his orb. It's a HP orb, you know, I don't know if that's the best choice for him or not. He doesn't really need the firepower. I just want him to survive. Um, let me see here. We got defense effect resistance. I'll, I'll take it. Whatever. Where's the other one? He has a lot of crit damage on one other. Yeah, we got 12 there. That's not like a lot, a lot. I think he has another one that's close to 20. No. Okay. So it's those two with, you know, 12.9 there, 12.3 there. So, I mean, I, I could min-max it if I want, but I don't back. want, so I'm cr pretty content. <laughs> so silly, the whole ass animation for that. Thanks, Doc. Yeah, I wish I had better speed on him. If I could get better speed substats, I would, uh... I'd probably change to the healing bonus relic set. What do these do? What the frick? Oh, okay. I thought it was, like, the arrow, the laser was pointed at this block, so I had thought I had to do something with the block itself. I was like, uh, what do I do with this? Whee! Let's go! Boing, 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 boing. No, you, know, you, you got yours on the same setup. Took him into pure fiction. Oh, I haven't done pure you fiction should come yet. come in here and take a look. The view here is breathtaking. Honestly, you could easily squash me with just... <sighs> Hold on. Uh, Piece of cake. Sounds like I accidentally interrupted some playful dialogue. Damn it. Uh, so we're just going back down, huh? Seemed a little unnecessary. There we go. All right, let's piece this bitch together. And the joyous tour of Toy City has come to an end. It makes me feel sad. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Oh, Panacone isn't all bad, right? I'll use this interesting experience as a talking point at the poker table. Most of you sustain Fu Shuan without a doubt. Not even remotely close. Seth says got a lot of speed on mine so far. I just got to fix up some other stats. Overall, pretty much done with them. Yeah, I think, I, I just wish I had more. I mean, the 136 is good. Like, I mean, that's that's still a good amount of speed. But he has too much break it's effect and he has way too much effect resistance. Alive. Sunday is just beyond this door. From my limited understanding, he's not someone easily handled. Are you prepared? Yeah. Only I believe he's the one who should be prepared to face me. Okay, then. Tell me about your plan. I don't have a plan. I'll just play it by ear. There are only two kinds of bargaining chips when dealing with people. Benefit or fear. Looks like sincerity isn't in your dictionary. <laughs> Am I not sincere enough? <laughs> There's no need to emphasize it. We've got to make good Appreciate you checking out, Have a good one. That man's sister is dead. He won't be able to turn a blind eye, and that's fear. And I'll help him find the murderer. He can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. And that's benefit. On what basis do you believe he's incapable, necessitating the delegation to someone from a rival faction, the IPC? Simple. Because that murderer could very well be a traitor hiding inside the family. Could be him. 
<laughs> um, do you mean the Galaxy Ranger whom you accused previously? <laughs> that was just an excuse, good doctor. There's something wrong with that woman. We need someone who can keep her in check. <laughs> It's better to minimize the variables outside our control while we execute our plans. Moreover, I need to know her identity. If I'm lucky. <laughs> she could be an important pawn. And it's good to have more helpful friends when dealing with this matter. I will say, I think it's cool that we get uh, Dr. Ratio involvement here. Like proper full-blown story involvement. Because, man, dude, they, they have a tendency... I, it's fun and it's exciting for them to flesh out the roster as rapidly as they have. Um, especially for a turn-based game. Like, there's so many different roles that need filled. Um, between weakness types and role types. And, like, niche types. Like, follow-up, break effect, DOT, debuff. Like, uh, there's so many niches here. Skill point usage. Um, but, man... They have releasing two characters per patch. I think is it's like it's overloaded on characters from a story perspective. Like Jing Liu. It came out, gave that bitch like some crazy cool ass story and did nothing else. They even ended with like that cool teaser with her and Locha and did nothing else with her. Uh Ron May literally just got like the trailblaze continuance mission which was basically just part of the e the big event that happened right there and then we haven't seen her since you know what i mean uh i guess similar to uh hua, hua. same thing as ron may trailblaze continuance mission that was basically you know like built in part of like the major event for the patch uh and then nothing she just fell off the face of the earth you know that's gonna happen with a uh, boot licker I guarantee you, Bootlicker, he's going to be a part of, like, some event story, and we'll never see him again. You know, it's so it's cool to see other characters, especially from a little while ago, uh, come back and, like, get some proper story attention. Because it was basically the same with Dr. Ratio as Ron May. He was just, like, a side character in her little story things. So we had even less of him. But honestly, the murder case is likely unrelated to her. I believe my standpoint. There's a rat in the family. Otherwise, why would Mr. Sunday arrange a private meeting with us? This isn't an interrogation, but a secret negotiation. I think he's right. Uh, here he Hey, welcome to the chat. Appreciate you being here. Have we ever since to do that uh, with Genshin by example? And see, and I would actually disagree with that. I feel like in Genshin, you know, they only release one new character per patch. I guess that's not true. Like at the start of a patch, like a 4.0. Who do we get in 4.0? Um, wasn't 4.0 Risley and who else was it? I think 4.0 and 4.1 both had like new five star characters, but usually they only do one new five star character per patch cycle. Um, the issue, I mean, you're right in the fact that a lot of times characters don't get a lot of good story time. The issue is that with Genshin, for whatever reason, they insist on like telling the story through Paimon. Paimon's voice lines outweigh everyone else's so much. Lenny, yes, Lenny was 4.0. Um, 4.1 was Ry was Risley and Noob. Yeah, yeah. So, so like every once in a while they'll toss a double in there, usually early in the patch cycle. Who was it uh, in uh, in Sumeru? Wasn't it Sino and uh, what didn't Sino launch with a new character? Was it Nilu? Nilu and Sino together? I don't remember. But either way, the issue is like they, they don't overload on characters like Star Rail does. They just put in a fair amount of new characters and still give all the attention to Paimon when it comes to telling the story. And 90% of Genshin's story is like bullshit filler dialogue anyways. And so, you know, that that's a mistake that Genshin makes. Is like they could take the better approach with fewer characters so they don't have to overload and like leave them out but instead they just leave them out anyways for the sake of letting paimon fill the entire dialogue sheet drives me feckin nuts we'll see using robin's death as a bargaining chip i'll win back my freedom and power yellow text here we go i like that i like that in the end i'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death he's up to literally is no just good. beyond this door even if that chance is close to zero, well, 
You can't win if you don't play. Ah, the charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. Tenor was early in Super Yeah, he was, he was 3.0. All or nothing. He was 3.0 because his banner was uh, him and Zhong Li. Because I pulled for his weapon. And I literally got Zhong Li's weapon twice in a row. Like, damn it, bro. Worthless ass weapon. Gamers, is this a good stopping point? I feel like I feel like shit's about to hit the fan. And it's about time for me to call the night either way. Seth had told me that there were a lot of good stopping points here. We're we're like right about exactly two hours in. So is this a good place to stop? Or should we should we push a little further? Because I think that this is going to leave tomorrow's stream being longer. But this feels like a pretty definitive moment. <laughs> this is good? You should stop here? Okay. That makes sense to me. That makes sense to me. All right. Um. Anyways, hey. Looks like we got a lot of new people in chat. Appreciate you, everybody hanging out. Um. If you got 20 more minutes, you can push forward. See, that's kind of what I was thinking. It's like, ah. It, from a narrative standpoint, it feels like a good stopping point. So I'm cool with just stopping. And we can make tomorrow a longer stream. Because, I, I mean, I, I had seen on Twitter that the second half of the story quest is where most of the meat and potatoes was. Lots of world building, character building, like tons of dialogue. I think it was fairly well done, personally. And that's coming from someone like it. My, I know we got a lot of new viewers on the stream. Longtime viewers know I will bitch and moan if there's too much dialogue. Like, I am not shy about that. This felt fine. The pacing was good. They had tossed in like some neat little puzzles, cutscenes, character trials, um, all that good stuff. And Egg with Issues says, Have a good night. Glad to finally catch the stream. Hey, I'm glad you caught a stream too. Happy to have you here. Uh, you're like about a third into the quest. Oh, is that it? Okay, then we'll have to really buckle down tomorrow, which is fine. We, we can do that. We'll buckle down more tomorrow. All right, yeah. We'll go ahead and call the night then. Gamers, I'm going to go ahead and get the hell out of here. Hope everybody had a good time. Again, you know, we, we don't stream a ton anymore, but it, it sure does feel good when we do get to stream. Nice catching up and chatting with everybody. Um, Let's see. All right, looks like we got no raids happening tonight. So we're just going to call it. Keep an eye out. There will be a new Weathering Waves video going up tomorrow morning, as well as I will get the pre-party posted for our part two stream, which will be tomorrow evening, same time as always, uh, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time here in the U.S. Um, and then we'll we'll finish out the story. See what's crapping in. I hear it gets very emotional again, so I'm excited for that. And yeah, be a good time, gamers. Appreciate everybody hanging out. Vibes are Mackie, that as always. Catch you tomorrow. Love the games. Love yourself. And I love you. Ya...